the Apple Car is here. Well, almost. It's gonna be officially revealed in 2025, but today, we're doing the unofficial reveal. I spent countless hours researching and investigating to give you guys the most up-to-date, best idea of what this car will look like. I'm talking wireless charging, FaceTime cameras, maybe silicon covers for your cars. Okay, probably not the last one, but we are gonna get into some of the juicier details. All right, disclaimer, usually on this show, we have like a 90% research idea of what the car will actually end up looking like. In this case, the Apple car is still very much in the rumor phase, so we're using a little bit of imagination. And I think that we can take these off, right? We get the picture, yes, okay. All right, so we do know that this car has been in the works since around 2014. And Apple has called this project on and off a million different times, and it still has a long way to go. Now, get ready for the iCar. What's your take on the resurgence of this Apple automobile rumor? An Apple car. Apple, Apple car. Apple car. Apple Apple car. car. Self-driving electric car. Apple car. This is really all over the wires. At the moment, hundreds of Apple employees are working around the clock on a self-driving car aimed at consumers. Apple refers to it as Project Titan for now. And if you know anything about Apple, it's that they know how to keep a secret. Even on iPhone leaks, I don't know how they do it, but nobody at Apple ever spills the beans. It's like Apple has like a little microchip that they insert into every single employee, and if any of them say anything, the microchip reacts accordingly, if you know what I mean. So far, one thing that we do know for certain is that when you buy the car, you're gonna get the car, but not the charger. <laughs> Just joking. Okay, that's not that's not true. Let's move on. <laughs> Anyways, in all seriousness, the top two priorities for this car are going to be revolutionary autonomous driving and safety. By revolutionary autonomous driving, I mean that there's going to be nothing like this on the road, and they want to take this so far that they don't even want to include a steering wheel inside of the car. Not even pedals or anything. Again, this would likely still have an emergency steering wheel. Maybe it'll be like deployable, like the Audi Sky Sphere that we drove a while back. The first time I saw that, that was crazy. The Audi Sky Sphere basically has the steering wheel that is like hidden inside of the cabin, and at the touch of a button, the entire thing changes and goes from autonomous to a driving car. I would be one million percent down with that idea. And also, this whole lack of steering wheel look would have a bunch of consequences, especially with design, because what it would end up looking like is more of an autonomous shuttle than actually a driver-focused car. So then that would completely disregard the possibility of this car being called the iDrive, because you would never drive it. It would be more of like the... I sit back and relax. In fact, Apple has been looking into removing the traditional road seats that you see in all cars today, and instead making the seats face each other to create more of like a social lounge or workspace. And we all know that Apple loves workspaces. In fact, concept cars like the Mini Urbanaut that I filmed a few years ago already have this whole social lounge kind of experience going on, but what they suggested was to not even include seat belts because in their opinion, in the future, all cars will be autonomous and they will be on like this digital online grid so every car will be aware of the other car is, thus completely erasing the possibility of crashing because they would just stop before they ever hit each other. And that would result and having no seat belts. Now that to me sounds like something from the future future. And speaking of like digital online grids and autonomous driving, Apple already has more than 60 autonomous driving cars on the road experimenting and testing. The only catch is that Apple is currently using rented cars from Hertz, like Lexus SUVs with cameras and sensors. So they're not actual Apple cars yet, but they are getting started. Anyways, this Apple car will likely not have any keys. Instead, your iPhone or your Apple Watch will act as the key I mean, it doesn't sound like revolutionary, but it does feel pretty freaking sick. Anyways, in terms of like range, this will be a premium high-end car, like a lot of other Apple products. Obviously, it's gonna have a deep, deep integration with Apple's iOS and will likely have updates that can further enhance the experience over time. Then, once Apple wants you to buy a new car, they're gonna deliberately slow down your car remotely to protect your aging batteries. Just kidding, just kidding. Not gonna happen. I hope. Now, before we get into the actual images of the car, we need to first understand that Apple is actively looking for partners to build this car. They're not just gonna do it alone. And this information could completely change the look of the car. They've had discussions with Nissan, they've held discussions with Hyundai. Apple and Hyundai Kia are close to finalizing an agreement that would have that car built by Hyundai Kia here in North America. They've even had discussions with Porsche, with Porsche's CEO saying that they've discussed exciting common projects with Apple just a few months ago. But it's still way too early to make anything serious out of this yet. We also know that Apple has officially received its autonomous testing permit from the DMV. That's the Department of Motor Vehicles in California. So something is definitely cooking. 
I mean, it's happening. All right, so it's time to reveal this car. We've collected the research, we've gone through the rumors, we've sat down together collectively and speculated that this is a realistic example of what the Apple car will look like. All right, let's start off with the look. Minimalistic, futuristic, clean, classic Apple. The top of the car is gonna be this huge panoramic glass panel, which will completely illuminate the interior of the car with natural sunlight and make this thing look like a freaking spaceship. If you look a little bit further down, you'll see that the car has no door handles. In fact, it doesn't even have any seams for the doors. And that's because instead of two doors on each side, they're gonna have one gigantic door that'll open up like Batman style and give you access to any seat inside of the car. It's gonna be incredibly open. Over at the front, you have one huge sweeping black panel loaded with cameras and sensors to allow for fully autonomous driving. It's gonna have sleek daytime running lights surrounding this panel and the headlights are gonna be integrated into the grill. So when they're off, you can't even see them. But when they're on, they will illuminate everything. Now, if you look over on the side, we have to acknowledge the wireless charging. Now, this is something that I do not think will necessarily happen, but it would be pretty cool. Just because wireless charging is pretty aggressive on the batteries, I'm not sure it would make sense to do it on a car. To be honest, Apple does love to like revolutionize and create crazy features. I would have to give Apple a lot of credit if they were able to make like a sustainable, functional wireless charger on the floor. That'd be freaking sick. All right, that's enough for the front. Let's head over to the rear. So over at the rear, at the very back of the car, you'll see these sweeping taillights with small fin turn signals. Again, minimalistic and clean. And you'd have the Apple logo integrated into the frame as a light. Instead of like a pop-out piece, it could just be engraved, lit up. BMW has already kind of teased this idea before with other concept cars to just kind of reduce waste. You'll also notice this super aerodynamic shape. I mean, you kind of saw it from the front, but this will be a very aerodynamic car, which will help its range overall. The more drag you have on an electric car, the shorter the overall range will be. All right, now it's time to go into the interior because this thing is freaking crazy. All right, take a look at this interior. So now you guys can kind of appreciate the glass panoramic roof. Look at how much natural light you would get in here. Everything is super clean, but super modern. And my favorite feature is this huge screen that you have on the door itself. So you'd actually be able to use this as a touch screen. They would actually redesign kind of like an oversized iPad, almost the size of a TV, click into different apps, share different notes. You can see your notifications. And on top of that, you'd have a FaceTime camera. So when everyone's sitting down inside the car, you'd be able to have a meeting from directly inside of the car live. Also, if you look between the two seats at the back, you'll also see an iPad there and above it, you'll see another FaceTime camera. Again, this would just be a different angle. So if two of you guys are sitting at the front facing the other way, you'd also be able to have a meeting from there. This could also serve as like a 24 hour surveillance camera. But again, this is going to have a deeply, deeply integrated Apple iOS into the car. And if you look at the middle, you'll see that there's kind of this table that folds out. Again, that will have another kind of Apple screen similar to an iPad, just to kind of control your climate and your infotainment. Now, if you look behind the front seats facing the other way, you'll see that there's no steering wheel at all, but we do have pedals there. The steering wheel would actually be hidden inside of that little black compartment that you see. Now, in case of an emergency, a steering wheel would pop out of there and the front seats would rotate forward, letting people actually drive this car. And to power this car, this is confirmed by the way, Apple is already creating a monocell design that will bulk up the individual battery cells and free up space inside the battery pack by removing pouches and modules that hold battery materials. This battery technology has been described as next level and similar to the first time you ever saw an iPhone. So that's the kind of hype that they're giving it. They're also looking to improve LiDAR sensors to make them much more smaller and affordable and easier to mass produce than what's available right now. So overall, Apple is making a ton of small details to make this thing completely ahead of anything else on the market when it comes out. Anyway, so that's the Apple car. Let me know what you guys think it's gonna be called. What other improvements do you wanna see? What do you guys think of this design? Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time.